launch our brand new episode here on 1950s farm. So, the epic task has been completed. And boy do I mean epic task. I'll show you in a second. Um, all I can say is, it's been a very long night. <laughs> a very, very long night. Um, didn't go to bed all that early last night, I'm afraid. And I'll show you the reason why. So, as you remember from yesterday's episode, where... I was ploughing this field, which I did, and I did tidy up the headlands as well, uh, just sort of a little bit, probably missed one or two little spots, but overall not a bad, not a bad job, um, as I say, uh, ploughed that field, and then I had to plough the dairy farm field and the dairy farm field is pretty big <laughs> I didn't appreciate how big that field was <laughs> until I started using a three for a bottom plow <laughs> and then I began to realize how big that field is <laughs> so uh, it took me about another hour and a half to finish that field. Uh, I started this field yesterday evening roughly about 7 o'clock in the evening. And I went to bed at about... Mm, five to five, something like that. I've had a couple of hours sleep and now I'm back up from recording again. Um, I did it with the little plow, to be fair, because what I didn't want to do was I didn't want to not do it because part of the reason for this series is to kind of show how hard in 1950s farming was compared to the modern day. I mean, the modern day. I would have had that ploughed in probably two hours, you know, it, modern day machine, you know, if I had a sort of, you know, five, six hundred horsepower tractor, put, you know, the uh, 10 metre um, Grigal Besson's plough behind uh, the tractor, I'd have ploughed that in a couple of hours, you know, no, no, no bother, and I would have had GPS, so I'd have been keeping nice and straight and everything, whereas ploughing it the way I did, A feels... Uh, authentic to me um, but also as well it doesn't feel like I've cheated you guys because I you know it's sort of important that I keep this um, as I say as authentic as I can I did record myself playing this um, uh, plowing this field however I hit several snags <laughs> one is when I bought my PC I was just a person that played farming sim from you know six seven o'clock in the morning till I went to bed usually at about sort of eleven o'clock in the evening and that was it and so I bought a PC with enough memory to last one game <laughs> um, and you know to survive one game so I, I kind of over ordered on the memory just to make sure that I would never run out and I also wanted to keep previous versions of Farming Sim because I really like the 17 version. I think that's a really good game. Uh, I really, really, really like the 19 version. For me, probably still the best version of the game. Um, although 22 is very good. Um, <coughs> but uh, yeah, the, the, so I, I sort of ordered enough memory to to be able to do that and uh, the biggest problem was was that obviously after every two hours my recorder automatically stops uh, and that was fine for the first couple of videos <laughs> so I got four hours in I thought well obviously I'm gonna have to time-lapse it and I'm gonna have to time-lapse it quite quickly 
because um, as I say I got four hours in then I had started to run into issues and I finally figured out why my recorder sometimes stops recording whilst I'm recording a video and it's because my computer runs out of memory uh, so therefore it quits the recording um, because it kept happening again last night and I thought well you know you really shouldn't be doing this like but I come to realize quite quickly that uh, as I say I'd, I'd, I'd run out of memory um, so I have got some of well I haven't now because I've deleted it and the reason I deleted the recordings was because a the memory issue but b in order for it to be and I mean I literally had, I think in four hours I'd literally ploughed not quite as far as here because I started down here and uh, obviously I had all this to do this bit was quite fiddly and so after about four hours I think I was like here somewhere um, but in order for me just to show you that little bit I had to run the um, the speed so fast to make it I think it would have ended up being like a 50 minute video or something like that that I ended up myself watching it while I was editing it ended up getting motion sort of feeling motion sickness and and it was too fast and I, and I just thought no I'm, I'm I'm not happy to put that out um, so I didn't but I can assure you this field was ploughed with that little tractor and plow but anyway so what for today oh. <laughs> hit the wrong button there so what for today well today a bit different today we've uh, we've got as you can see and also as well the other thing was I started the field on October the on October 1 I think it was and it's now November 2nd and as I say I finished that field today I li you've literally seen me drive back from that field um, so yeah it's quite big and I've had two snowfall since whilst I've been ploughing it right today job we're gonna put the picket fence in around here around the house and we're gonna get that done and then what we're going to do is, oh, we've still got some corn here, look. And then what we're going to do is, we are not going to mow it this year, I don't think. But we will get a ride-on, because that year Harry did buy a ride-on. Uh, if I remember, I will put a picture in the thumbnail of the real one, because the mod is pretty good. Uh, the mod of it is pretty identical. Um, so I will, if I remember, I will put a real a picture of the real one in the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, so we're going to put a picket fence in there, going to put a gate on there, and eventually we will sort of start to make that look home. Um, but the other job that I want to do today is I want to wash this tractor, wash the plough. I want to get the elevator put away for the winter I want to get the baler washed and get that put away and then the same with the combine the rake and the tedder and this trailer I think what I'm gonna do is if I can get off the shed <laughs> I'm gonna put down here so I'll get rid of these trees um, and then uh, I'm gonna put that down I'm gonna put some hard standing down here and then uh, I'm gonna stand the trailer behind here and then what I'm gonna do is from event from uh, get off the bloody thing from there I'm gonna uh, draw a line all the way across and put hard stand in there and that gives us just a little bit more area to just um, you know stand equipment on and do whatever but anyway so today as I say we will uh, we will put the picket fence around there and the gate on there and then we're going to put the equipment away, get it washed, put it away. The elevator shouldn't need washing, to be fair, it hasn't really been used that much. Um, but we'll get it put away, we'll get the other stuff put away. I'm hoping that elevator fits in that shed. <laughs> I haven't tested it, so <laughs> um, but hopefully it fits in that shed. Uh, and then um, 
and then we'll get uh, some of the machinery washed. I'm going to do all that on time lapse, so it's not going to be, um, you know, something that you're going to have to sit and watch me do bit by bit. So I'm going to time lapse it all. So I'm going to leave you with some music, and uh, I'm going to crack on.
and I'm back. So, ooh, we've got quite a bit of um, manure building up there, which is quite nice. 19,723, got a nice bit of slurry as well. Straw looks okay. Milk's looking good. The cows are doing well. Excellent new oh, foods out. I did not realise the food had gone. The last time I checked the cows, the food was nearly full. Um, no problem. All right, we all know what we're doing next episode. Then next episode, we're going to come down here, and we're going to do a little bit of work down here. So we will probably remove that cow dung. Definitely be feeding them, and uh, we will. Uh, also, I think probably um, need to. Uh, sell that milk although it, in theory it should uh, the dairy farm uh, manager should, should should sort that out but yeah that'll be next episode the silage is now ready as well so we can put lots of silage in there um, which is uh, really good um, so yeah we can put uh, silage in there We've also got quite a few hay bales now because of what we collected last time, so that's good. There is straw bales in there for some reason, rather than um, sort of separating and making two separate piles. It decided to wrap the... I don't think I can go in there, can I? No, I can't get in there. But I don't know if it will show you from this side, but... there so it's wrapped the hay bales around the straw bales quite why it's done that i don't know um but um so that's going to make it fun to get to get to get to because you certainly wouldn't do that like that in real life but anyway that's probably going to be uh, it for today's episode um i realize it's a little bit short but um As I say, we uh, we will we'll have lots to do as we come over the winter. Um, but today's priority really was to get everything washed and to get everything put in in the uh, shed for over winter. So um, we've done that. Bit of a miscalculation <laughs> with the house renovations. <laughs> um, yeah so a bit of a miscalculation there um, as I've uh, said before I, I, I suffer uh, with um, dyscalculia which means I can't add and subtract number I just don't understand numbers very well full stop um, I understand the shapes I can read numbers um, but when I you have to start adding and taking and times in and dividing none of that means anything to me um and uh, I tried <laughs> I tr <laughs> I tried to work it out and thought yeah I should have enough uh but uh that's how badly my uh, maths is because uh, I fell well short in the end today's plan was to get the picket fence round and get the gate on um one thing I have come to realize though is and it's one thing that I didn't take into account is that whilst I'm playing in the 1950s and simulating life back then the game and its prices are modern day prices so therefore it's the sort of the two are kind of not correlating but are correlating at the same time and what I mean by that is they're not correlating because it would not have cost me nearly £23,000 to put um, a picket fence around there you have to remember the reason why I thought I'd have, have enough and and this you know this is how sort of sometimes I don't 
probably think things through properly is that in the first year after he sold his wheat Harry was able to put the picket fence round, was able to put the gates up and buy himself a brand new car uh, which uh, was he says the first car that he ever owned uh, and that was going to be my plan we were going to do that he also bought himself a ride on mower which I think was 80 pounds I think I think he I think I'm quite well 80 dollars it would have been but um, yeah and uh, as I say so I, I, I sort of didn't take that into account however it correlates because when I sell my crops I'm getting the modern day prices not the prices that they would have got in 1950 so in truth swings and roundabouts I think it works itself out roughly right but I still miscalculated uh, quite badly <laughs> and thought I would have enough but however you can see the job we're starting to make and um, <laughs> eventually I will finish a said job um, but uh, yeah so obviously the fence will go across the front here gates on the front of the drive and then we will uh, get ourselves the uh, uh, black car that uh, well, it was a it was a truck um, that he bought himself but anyway we'll get this in the shed and then um, we will uh, we will call that it for today's episode and then as I say in the next one we'll go down there and we'll um, we'll sort the cows um, so that will uh, oh, I forgot that. I always forget to turn the lights off there we go um, as I say we'll go down there and we'll sort the cows and we'll get them um, get them uh, fed and sorted and get their health back up because um, as I say the last time I went down there which was funnily enough when I went and fetched the plough they had food in there um, and so I sort of thought that uh, that would be um, sufficient for a few days but um, you know when I think about it you know that was October the sort of October 1 when I went there so it's now November 2 so I guess in a way it kind of makes sense but as I say what we'll do is next time we'll get them sorted out we will get uh, them fed we will get uh, some more straw put down we haven't got that much straw to be fair and we will also feed them some silage uh, which will help them over winter as well so as I say thanks ever so much for joining me on this episode it's been really great to have your company if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode bye for now